Hello everyone, welcome to episode 15 of the update. I am your host professor Mo and Tony is off today so I'm recording without Tony. We don't need him. Anyway, today in this video I'm here to give you an update about upcoming video games in April 2021. You probably know that 2021 is gonna be an amazing crazy year for gamers. So many good titles are coming out so... It's gonna be a thrilling year. Beginning of 2021 has been relatively quiet for new game releases, which is typical. The first quarter of the year is traditionally slow for new game releases, but it seems like April is gonna change that. Kickoff was awesome because Outsiders came out, uh, Outriders came out, not Outsiders, it's Outriders. <laughs> Outriders came out first of April, and um, I'll talk about that in a bit. I just wanna uh, give you a clue about the video, just to make sure you clicked on the right one. So in this video I'm gonna talk about 9 biggest new video game releases of April 2021. Before getting started my Instagram is gonna show up right over here. Go ahead and give it a follow, I share daily gameplays um, and I do have other social medias. You can find all the links in the description down below. Go ahead and give it a follow if you want, just go check it out, why not? Alright, alright, alright. Let's get started, I'm excited for this video. Alright, let's talk about Outsiders, um, Outriders I mean, <laughs> why I keep saying Outsiders, I have no idea. Okay, let's talk about Outriders, uh, which came out 1st of April as I mentioned before. And today is the 5th and uh, we're not missing too much, so don't worry. Outriders is a cooperative role-playing third-person video game developed by People Can Fly and published by Square Enix's European subsidiary. Outsiders has been released for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, S, and Stadia. The Outriders demo was launched on February 25th and it has been met with enthusiasm by the community. Pretty soon we'll see if this enthusiasm is gonna cause a big sell for the game or not. We'll see. In the beginning of the game, players create their custom characters and choose from four classes. Each of them has unique abilities that the players can utilize. The four classes include the Trickster, which has the ability to manipulate time, the Pyromancer, which can manipulate fire, the Devastator, which can unleash seismic attacks, and the Technomancer, which uses turrets and other devices. Players can use different weapons such as shotgun and assault rifles to defeat enemies. And firearms can be customized with weapon mods. Players can hide behind a cover to shield themselves from enemy attacks. Their health will only regenerate if the player manages to hurt or kill enemies. Also, I forget to mention Outriders is both single and multiplayer. Honestly, I didn't play the demo and I'm not planning on buying it because it's just not the type of video game that I enjoy. But I watched a couple YouTube videos and uh, it's a cool game, especially in uh, multiplayer mode. Yeah, so uh, you can buy the standard edition for $59.99 and it's available pretty much for all the platforms. Tomorrow is a big day, we have two new video games coming on April 6th, um, Oddworld Soulstorm and Star Wars Republic and Commando. I think we talked about Oddworld Soulstorm in episode 14 I guess, I'm gonna put a link up here if you want you can just go check it out. Oddworld Soulstorm is developed and published by uh, Oddworld Inhabitants for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. It will be the continuation of 2014's Oddworld, new and tasty, and a reimagining of 1998's Oddworld's Abe. Protagonist Abe returns in the game and his goal is to save his fellow Madokans from slave labor. The game features a new crafting system in which Abe can craft and customize different weapons. While the game is mostly linear, it features a massive train hub area where players can access new levels and areas. This game was announced on March 14th, 2016 and was slated to be released uh, later in 2017. Uh, later delayed to 2019 and then again delayed to 2020. And yeah, apparently tomorrow is the day. Um, okay. Yeah, okay. And yeah, um, apparently tomorrow is the day. So if you have been waiting for a long time for this game, tomorrow is the day. But um, you never know. It might be another delay. So we'll see. 
Star Wars Republic Commando is a tactical first-person shooter video game set in Star Wars universe. It was developed by LucasArts using the Unreal Engine and published for Xbox and Microsoft Windows in 2005. The game features both single-player and multiplayer game modes. So yeah, this video game is coming out tomorrow, April 6th for PS4 and Switch. The classic comic book-based game Shadow Man was re-released on PC in 2013, but now it's getting a full-blown remaster. Shadow Man remastered both 4K resolution along with a variety of other graphical enhancements, plus brand new content that was cut from the original release. Developed by Night Dive Studios, Shadow Man Remastered should be a definitive way to experience the classic game, though it should be noted that PC gamers have first dibs. Those hoping to play Shadow Man Remastered on console will have to wait until an undetermined date later this year. Shadow Man Remastered will be available for PC on April 15th, with a PS4, Switch, and Xbox One versions coming out later this year. MLB The Show 21 is an upcoming baseball video game by San Diego Studio and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment for the PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 and by MLB Advanced Media for the Xbox Series X, S and Xbox One. MLB The Show is based on Major League Baseball, MLB. The 16th entry of MLB The Show franchise is set to be released on April 20th, 2021. One of the biggest next generation exclusive features is the ability for MLB The Show 21 players to create their own ballparks which can then be shared with other players online that's kind of cool actually i think i think people people love it total war rome remastered lets you relive the legacy that defined the award-winning strategy game series remastered to 4k with multiple improvements to visual as well as refinements to gameplay total war rome remaster is coming to pc on april 29th um, by the way you can pre-purchase this game on steam right now for 29.99 New Pokemon Snap is an upcoming first-person simulation video game with rail shooter-style gameplay mechanics. It is being developed by Bandai Namco Studio and uh, planned to be published by Nintendo and the Pokemon Company for the Nintendo Switch. It is scheduled to be released on 30th April 2021. The Nintendo Switch isn't the only console with an exclusive new game launch on April 30th. PlayStation 5 gamers can look forward to the release of Returnal, an intense looking sci-fi shooter game that also features horror and roguelike elements. Developed by Rose Gun Studio host Mark, Returnal looks to be one of the studio's most ambitious games, as well as one of the most impressive looking PS5 games so far from a visual standpoint. Terminator Resistance is a 2019 first person shooter video game developed by T and published by Rift Entertainment for PlayStation 4. I'm not sure if I mispronounced that or not. Teon? I think it's Teon. Um, <coughs> Terminator Resistance is a 2019 first-person shooter video game developed by Teon and published by Rift Entertainment for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Microsoft Windows. It is based on the Terminator franchise, set during the original future war depicted in the films The Terminator and Terminator 2 Judgment State. Terminator Resistance Enhanced is coming as a PlayStation 5 exclusive game at the end of April, and those that already own the PS4 version can upgrade to the PS5 for free. Good deal! Well, this is everything. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate your time. I hope you got what you were looking for. Um, don't forget to like the video and leave a comment down below for me. Let me know what game you are excited for and going to play it. And if you like the content, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell thing. Um, then you don't miss a new video. Plus, you will be a member of Mo Squad. Ay <laughs> I almost forgot to mention, we finally hit 200 subscribers, ladies and gentlemen. Hell yeah, thanks to you. I appreciate you all. So, uh, we're gonna have a giveaway as I promised. Um, I don't know yet, but probably I think the giveaway will be a gaming mouse, a Razer gaming mouse. Um, but we're gonna discuss it on my Instagram page, so make sure you follow my Instagram. Um, as soon as this video is out, I'm gonna show you the details about the giveaway on my Instagram page. So make sure you follow my Instagram and we'll discuss it over there. Um, if you don't like the gaming mouse, we can change it. It's totally fine. Hey. So yeah, make sure you uh, make sure you follow me over there, we'll talk about it. Also a quick reminder, I stream on Twitch every Saturdays and Mondays 5pm to 8pm Pacific time. Stop by if you can, let's chat a little bit and maybe we can uh, play a couple of games. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Thanks again Mo Squad, I appreciate you all, I love you all.
Thanks again for watching. Peace out, Professor Mo.